it was summertime on the island of Sodor and everyone was hard at work, and the engines on the Scarloin Railway were working especially hard. More tourists had arrived than every summer anyone could remember, and the little engines did their best in order for everyone to catch their trains and make sure they were happy. But not everyone was happy. Well great. Another good strain. Why can't I pull passengers and join in the fun? It's your turn. Every summer one of the engines help with the maintenance work around the line. This year, it's your turn. Well, lucky me. Just be lucky that there is enough work that Rusty helping you. Otherwise, you'd really have a reason to complain. Duncan liked Trusty, but in the mood he was in, he didn't like anyone who did his work for him. That evening, Mr. Roger Sam called the engines to the shed to address them about the situation. I all know you have all been working very hard, and I'm pleased with all of you, but due to the recent train storms than expected, and it has caused more damage to the line than expected due to this. Peter Sam and Sir Handel will be moved to repair work. But sir, what about the passengers? That is already taken care of. Another engine will be brought to the railway to help with the passengers. A new engine? What will he be like? Wait and see. Geoffrey will be delivering him here tomorrow on his goods train. Now get some rest. You all have a busy day tomorrow. But try as they might, they were too excited to sleep and talked about the new engine late into the night. Then, the next day, Jeffrey picked up the new engine. Hurry, please. This engine is needed right away. As soon as the workman had the new engine secured and his flatbed coupled, Jeffrey pulled away. Wilbert was busy shunting in Wellsworth's yards. He was about to take a rest when Geoffrey pulled up. Sure, I'm just on my way to Vikas Down. I can take the train while I'm at it. And with that, Wilbert left to take care of Jeffrey's train.
And then, a few minutes after Wilbert left, Jeffrey left for the Scarlowy Railway. That evening as the sun was setting, everyone had gathered to meet the new engine, and Lily had pushed the breakdown train and now, they were waiting for Jeffrey to arrive. For everyone waiting, it seemed like forever, but Jeffrey finally managed to arrive. The new engine was Smudger, the engine that Duke had worked with before smudge air was turned into a generator. He was unloaded and rolled up alongside Peter Sam and Sir Handel. Hello, I'm Smudger. Smudger? Did you once work with Duke? Yes, I did. And if I would have listened to him, I never would have been made into a generator. A generator? How did that happen? I rode too rough and came off the rails too much. <laughs> See Duncan, you really can be cut down to size if you keep riding rough. Oh, shut up. That's not funny. You're both right. You can be cut down to size if you don't behave, and it's not funny. I had a lot of time to think about while of being a generator, and now I know how to act better like I did in the past. But you're an engine. How did that happen? Well, after the war, and before the first number two flooded the mines, I met a great tank engineer who told me about a manager of another railway who lived far away in another country looking for engines to run his railway, and I was turned back into an engine. And then, now, Mr. Percival needed an engine, so I'm here. And where's Dookie? He had a late train. He should be here soon. See? There he is now. What are you doing here? Last time I saw you, you were a generator and you should have stayed that way. I'm a spare engine. And I know I made mistakes in the past. But I'm a different engine now and... I don't want to hear it. Just stay out of my way, and do your work. Goodbye. The next morning, Smudger was getting all patched up for his morning train while Rusty was waiting to take some workmen to fix the line. But then, 87,546 pulled up. What are you doing here? I'm delivering the workmen so you can repair your rails. Then, 87546 noticed Smudger who was getting looked over. Who is that tank engine and why is he here? That's Smudger. He's a spare engine to come and help over the summer. Oh great, just what this railway needs, another tank engine to get in the way of the work. What's wrong with tank engines? What isn't wrong with them? They are old, slow, small, 
and out of date. And I'm a better example of my railway better than that pile of scrap. And if you don't break down completely, you look like you could fall apart if you didn't reach 100 miles per hour. And he looks like he's nothing but a museum piece. Or you can be set off to be sent to scrap. And I used to show everyone on this railway that I was the pride of my railway until I was sent away for causing too much trouble alongside a friend of mine in 1922 when I worked here on trial. Now if you excuse me, I must be off. I have very important work. And if I was you, I wouldn't get more friendlier with these tank engines. They'll make it more harder for you when they're scrapped. Ta-ta for now. Smudger, who had heard everything that 87546 said, was now upset. Is it true? What 87546 said? Of course not. Nothing that arrogant bully he says is true. No one here or on the mainland listens to him. It would be better in your best interest to do the same. And the workmen are ready. I have to go now. Goodbye. Then, just as Rusty left with the workman, Duke arrived, still cross at Smudger. What are you doing sitting around? Don't you have a train to catch? I do. I was just leaving now. None of your excuses. Now get to your train. Smudger, who felt hurt, puffed sadly away. Smudger had collected his coaches and was waiting at the station when Edward arrived. Why hello there, you're new here, aren't you? Yes I am. My name's Smudger. I'm the spare engine brought here to help over the summer. You're a first rally K2, aren't you? Indeed I am, and I'm proud to be one. Nice to meet you Smudger, my name is Edward, and I hope you're enjoying your time here. Sorry I can't stay and chat, but I must be off. Goodbye. Shortly after Edward had left, the conductor for Smudger's drain blew his whistle and Smudger left.
Later on, Smudger had finished his passenger train, and was having a bit of a rest before his next train. Then, he noticed Edward shunting. Well, hello again, did you enjoy your run? Yes I did. It's, su su it's such a lovely place here. But it's always nice to have a rest. I bet you could have one. You look very busy. Well, I am. I've been shunting, and now I'm getting a train ready for 87546 to take back to the mainland. Oh, him? I don't like him. Me neither. When he first came to this railway, he caused all kinds of trouble. I overheard him telling Rusty that all tank engines will be shunters and not be in service. He's been saying that ever since he bullied the smaller engines when he worked here on trial in 1922. At first, we thought he was boasting, but after constantly causing trouble, we stopped believing him and started laughing at him, and speaking of him I better get this train where he can find it, and get to my other jobs, goodbye. Alright, time to get to our next train. Shortly after, 87546 arrived to collect his train, he found the train hard to move, and the trucks enjoyed pulling tricks on him, and then a few minutes later, he struggled on. Later on that day, Duke pulled into the yard after a long journey, he noticed Smudger in the shed. He was originally mad at him for his behavior on their old line, but now that he was turned back into an engine made Duke seed with fury, he didn't want to see him, let alone share a shed with him, so he decided to rest amongst the trucks. Meanwhile, 87546 was having trouble with his train. The trucks didn't want to come. He struggled with every ounce of strength he had. Something had to happen, and it did. The coupling snapped and 87546 shot forward. He was so cross and reversed quickly and slammed into his train. And the impact was so strong, it led the cars rolling backwards. Meanwhile, Duke who was resting, was unaware of the dangers, then, a warning alarm was heard, and it startled Duke and woke him up, just in time to see the cars. The cars slammed into some fuel tankers and caused an explosion in the fire of the shed. Duke's driver had gone home for a rest. Leaving the poor engine stranded. Help! Somebody help! Smudger, who had also been startled awake, puffed out of the shed. He could now hear Duke calling for help. And without thinking twice, Smudger raced down to save him. And then he backed down, and coupled up, and pulled as hard as he could. With a lot of struggling, Smudger managed to get Duke out of the sheds before the sheds exploded.
Later that night, everyone had returned to the sheds. The fire had been put out, but not before the damage was done. Murdoch brought the breakdown train to help clean up the mess, and workmen were looking over Duke to see if he was hurt or not. Thank you for saving me. But why did you do it after I was so mean to you? Like I told you, all that time as a generator gave me time to think. I'm a different engine now, plus, I was the right thing to do. I guess I got set in my ways. You really are a different engine than the smudger I knew years ago. Can you forgive an old foolish engine? Of course I can. Then, Mr. Percival came walking up. He spoke with the engines. How are you feeling, Duke? Fine, sir. A little shaken up, but fine other than that. Very good. And I hear that you're a hero smudger. And if you would like, I would like you becoming a permanent member of my railway. Yes, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Very good. Kia, you shall stay. I will make the arrangements. Then, after a loud chorus of whistles, Mr. Percival spoke. Now, all that's left aside from rebuilding the works, is finding out who is responsible for this whole incident. Just then, James and Edward arrived with 87546. What's going on here? We found 87546 stuck on a line, Mr. Percival. We also found out that he slammed into his train that caused the fire. So, it was you. You cause issues no matter what you do. I don't know what to do with you. Excuse me, sir. I know the last time I had to deal with an engine like that, what fix did he him what was that he once turned into a generator? A generator? A? Eh? That's a good idea, but knowing 87546 as an engine, he'd probably be much trouble as a generator. Take him away so I can contact his controller. Yes, yes sir. sir. Right away, sir. Duke and Smudger are now good friends, and the shed was rebuilt with a plaque that said in honor of Smudger, for his bravery and as for 87546, he was scolded by his controller and was in disgrace and he wasn't fond of their new project to build a generator but his bullying is a story for another day. Renaeus! Uh. 